What do you got, babe? You making me a picture? Yeah. Is that all of our tubes for draining? That's just tying it into the house drain. Say hi, babe. Hi, fish tube. <laughs> so, you guys aren't going to believe it, but these professional drawings are our blueprint for the drain system. <laughs> yeah. So, if we look back behind this rack, we have the hidden plumbing. Mr. ADHD is a wizard at plumbing, and he said that this is it, where it's all gonna happen. Right, babe? Yeah. So how's it gonna go? You're gonna cut here. No. Somewhere around there. You're gonna cut here. Nope. Oh, you wanna cut right below where this T's into yeah, there. Is going to it's not anymore so so this is canceled right and you're gonna cut um, here I don't know what that T goes to or used to go to not I just know it's not going to go anymore I'm gonna cap it and we'll see what happens because this is the drain for the sink right do you think this might be the drain for the shower no nope, because the shower goes into the floor Oh, this is way too high for it to be right, the shower. It's not going to go three inches across the bathroom. I don't know what it goes to. There's nothing on the other side. You don't think it's a drain for something upstairs? That would be this, right? Yep. All right, so we have a mystery T that goes somewhere. Right, that's going to get capped, and we'll see what backs up. Right, that's how you do it. So you're going to cut this. So the rule is anything that we drain has to be taller than this which is, what do you got here, like six inches? Um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be just enough to fit the trap. Yeah, so we have a trap and we have a maintenance valve, no, like a clean out valve thing, right? A strainer. A strainer. So the fish don't go down the drain. And gunk. So let's see over here. We found this strainer Max, I'm sorry, am I bothering you? We found this strainer in the irrigation section where they sell, um, here babe, tell, show it, show how it does it. Like open it up and explain how it works. Okay. So anyway, right, so like there's water flow. And if you look, it's kind of thin in there. So the water goes down outside the basket. No, in the basket. Nope, it goes outside the basket, goes through, and then if you look in that side, oh, the water it comes, comes out of the center. The water comes into the basket and out, so, so all why. the gunk will be between the basket and the clear part. Right. Got it. Now I understand the flush valve. I thought it was the other way around. Right, so that's why you can flush it, because it will just flush all the gunk off of it. And we can see how much gunk is there because it's yeah and you can take the bottom off yeah you can see it so and we have to have a we have to have a trap for sewer gases you're going to use this thing called a band and this is going to be the adapter guy that goes on our metal pipe i dropped it on the metal pipe that's back there yeah it goes on the 70 year old cast iron 70 year old cast iron pipe and then we stick one of these in yep and then that's how you adapt it into your metal piping yep and then you got to do your squiggle and then your strainer guy yep and the way it's gonna go is all around town all of these overflows today i'm working on this part the little elbow that comes out and then the drain part. So we're gonna have some lines, some water lines that come down and then we're gonna have our gutters or our drain pipes at each level. 
So for the lowest tank, I might have to have a pipe like right here. I might not be able to do it all the way down at the ground just because of the level of the drain over there. But it all has to be graded for gravity. So over there has to be taller than over here. Just by a little bit, babe, right? If you do too much, if you do too much of a slope, you drop all your, hurt. you leave your sediment and stuff in the pipe and all your little bits and pieces in the pipe and the, it doesn't come out. And But if you don't do enough, it also will leave your sediment in the pipe, right? Yeah, it's all cool. And Max is here. He's a master plumber also. And this is the tube that I'm gonna use for the back of the tanks. I already tested to make sure my little slip by barb elbow fits in there. It's this thing. I have, it, I have one right here dry fitted. So this is a little slip by barb 90 I got off Gemco. Excuse me, Max. And this is not flex tube, but it's cheaper than flex tube and it'll work. It's one inch ID. I might use some ABS cement. I don't know, but it fits right in there. And with the help of a heat gun, maybe. The heat gun's not here right now, but with, with some engineering, We'll be able to get it done so we're gonna work on that max is here to supervise right max wow is there anything else that we need to explain babe did we miss anything yeah at least fish the ground thing. if it's a guppy it's pregnant i don't know it's super fat yeah it's, it's a, a guppy so what else is important about the drain system that we need to mention? That's it. Max, Max is here for luck. Because those are seven year old red cat ones and uh, this could go very badly. So if it goes badly, what is the way it could go badly? Yeah, like, so you got to cut that, right? So you got your saws all and your blades. Like, you know, imagine I'm cutting it. Down by the cracks. And I have to fix it. The brittle cast iron leaded I'm going, hub. I'm going to have to cut the wall out and then grinder the floor and then dig the floor up and go down lower and fix it. And then the fish room will be canceled. Yeah, probably. But if we're lucky and you go to cut that pipe and it goes well, you learn what? I'd use a bandsaw to cut it from those studs. Well, we don't need those studs. All right, you guys, well, wish us luck. Babe, is that poop? Yes. Actually, no. It's not. The only things going into this are sinks. Okay. Babe, are those metal shavings going in the fish tanks and killing all the fish? I hope not, babe. Is that a, oh, it was already capped. It's just a clean out. That's what I was hoping it was. Oh, you already did it with the red one. Oh, dude. You want me to hold this pipe or something? It's still just not giving. I might have to torch it, but I don't have my torch. Because it got stolen, huh? You know, because it's at work.
Oh yeah, you did egg it, huh? You really yoked it. Yeah, you can feel it. What's the matter, Bangs? Is Daddy taking apart your fish room? Baby Bangs. Oh my gosh. This baby. Pipe dope, pipe. Pipe, 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 two different ones. That's that one, and that's this one. And now you got your measurer. Six and a half. Six and a quarter. Six and a half. Well, we can cut it six and a half. And then you won't be able to get it in there, huh? And then you can put it together. <laughs> Be careful this time with the bandsaw. Not to make right. it crooked. If it's going to be crooked, it has to go smaller. Right, not bigger. Okay, I'll do my best. That mark's got to be your biggest, your biggest part. Nope, that's upside down. Put the bandsaw right side up. Like this? Or, or what you can do is you can hold the trigger right and put the other side down right no that's not safe oh like this yeah and then you can see what you're doing then do that and and go slow you can turn the speed down on that bandsaw if it's up too high right here yeah okay what do i put it on it's on five so i want to put it on one that really slows it down, but yeah. All right, let's put it on two. It looks kind of straight. Good job, babe. Wait, let's measure it. Six and an eighth. It'll be okay. And six and an eighth. And six and three sixteenths. It's fine. Six and three sixteenths. It's okay. I'll put it in. Oh no. It's very unfortunate. Was that just one little drip? Yeah. That is very unfortunate. You can't just, you can't tighten it from where it's at now. I would have to turn. You'd have to turn your joint that you just cemented. The whole assembly here. Yeah. Well, the ABS cement might not be set yet. But then that compromises your bond, right? By twisting it? Yeah. Like it might not be set, but it is setting. It is set enough to where I can't twist it. But since it's just a drain and there's not gonna be a lot of pressure on, how important is that ABS cement bond? Well, it could be the next leak. Yeah. Like if I destroy that ABS bond and twist this and leave this, yeah, then that could leak. I'll just move the leak from the threads to the joint. And just putting some cement on the outside of the pipe wouldn't fix it? No. 
and you don't want to start all the way over. What if you need to just tighten it just a little, little bit? You still got some room to tighten it. I know. Huh? I know, but then you compromise your glue joints. You didn't glue, no, I mean like the whole thing. You didn't glue down here where the band clamp is, did you? No. You could loosen I mean, your I band. I guess I could technically. Yeah, loosen your band clamp. A little bit. Maybe you just need just a little bit. What do you got, like an inch over there? Yeah. That might be worth it instead of doing a leak repair already. These things happen. Yeah. But it's really good because now we're all learning. I'm not learning nothing. Me and all the people watching the video are learning. Yeah, wiggle it. Those are big ones. They're still under me. Big ones? Your big channel locks with the funny jaws. The whole reason I bought those was for the bulkheads because I couldn't find a deep well socket that was that big. How'd we do? How'd you do? I torqued it. That's all I could do though. That's as far as you got? It's still drip. Well, that might have just been squeezing it out. Well, I may have to take it out and like tape it. Cause what could have happened is the wrenches could have slightly egged this fitting. Mm -hmm. So it's you're not going to have a good seal? A good seal, because that's round, that's not. We're back from Home Depot and we got another Husky Bander, Husky Clamp, Husky Band. Wow, you really had that screwed in there, huh? Yeah. I really did. Come here, Max. Don't fight. What happened? Oh. You want paper towel? That's because it's not leaking from here. That's leaking from the metal, isn't it? The fitting itself is cracked. Did you turn the sink off? No. My poor babe.
<laughs> I'm sorry, babe. Do you want me to clean it? Wow. <laughs> wow, that really uh, made it clean there. <laughs> I have a different wire brush hold on. Well, you guys, that's it for this video. Um, I had about an hour and 20 minutes of footage that I had to squeeze into this. I guess it's gonna be like a 30 minute thing, but um, there's gonna be an extended cut if you wanna see all the funny stuff that me and Mr. ADHD talked about. Um, if you are not familiar with plumbing or how any of that works, and you need to learn how to do the stuff that you saw in the video or like an explanation on like how stuff works and why we did what we did. Watch the extended cut because I was asking questions the whole time to like, so that Zach could explain to y'all like what he was doing, why he was doing it and how he was doing it and everything. So if you are watching the video and you're like, what is he doing? Why is he doing that? Um, I suggest you watch the extended cut. It's gonna be like an hour long, but it explains every step of the way um, in basic terms that someone that is not familiar with any of this could understand. And it's super home movie style, so you get to see, you know, how me and Mr. ADHD interact on a daily basis. So I hope you enjoyed watching. And um, we actually ended up putting more JB Weld on because come to find out the back part of that iron or cast iron T fitting was also leaking because when Zach put the pipe wrench on that pipe, he ended up basically egging or cracking that fitting. So I will show you now. Come on, Yax. Let's go look at it. I know. So it passes the leak test. Oh boy. Okay. Um, none of this leaks. All of this is good. There's JB Weld all back here. This is not the proper way to fix this problem. Zach said the proper way to fix it would be to cut it up here, replace all the plumbing that goes to the sink in the bathroom behind this, and basically redo all of this. Um, I mean, he could reuse most of these pieces, but he'd have to redo like this section, but this is holding, um, no more leaks. We're doing good. We got our trap and we got our strainer. So that's it for this video and I will see you next time. In the next video, we'll be running all of this part of the plumbing from the tanks to this wall so i'm gonna work on that today after i finish editing this video